Good day everyone wherever you are watching from. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I still remain Adebiti Olushola. And today I will be talking on the topic amenorrhea. Amenorrhea is simply absence of menstruation. And when there is absence of menstruation for three months in a row, which is considered as amenorrhea, as well as in in in, in girl child of age 15 and above that has not seen a period uh menstruation that can as well be considered as amenorrhea where well, amenorrhea can be caused by a lot of things amenorrhea can be caused by a lot of things such as um menopause age your lifestyle change in hormonal levels or we can say hormonal imbalance and also there are some underlying causes like problems with the reproductive organs can be a cause of the amenorrhea that is absence of menstruation i will be talking more on the causes your causes can as well be as a result of the too much of men men hormone it's part of the hormonal imbalance men hormone there are some ladies that has men hormone in their body and when there is men hormone in the body it can definitely affect the um menstruation their monthly flow we can also have um contraception contraceptives some women experience amenorrhea when taking their uh, contraceptives and he, after stopping the um, contraceptives for like a month it is possible they see their period the next month another cause is i talked about natural amenorrhea amenorrhea can up occur naturally for example a woman breastfeeding she might she might some women might not have their monthly flow when breastfeeding another co natural um causes is um menopause menopause a woman that has gotten to the age of menopause might not be able to menstruate anymore another cause is the natural cause of um, amenorrhea is pregnancy a woman that is pregnant might not be able to see a monthly flow so another cause is a uh, medication there are some drugs that when you take them they might fix your your menstrual monthly flow such as antipsychotic drugs like cancer drugs or cancer chemotherapy antidepressant drugs and so on like that when you take them they might seize your periods for some time then lifestyle can also be a cause of what of your of amenorrhea such as low body weight such as stress such as excessive exercise or when you take too much of fats too much of cholesterol then i talked about hormonal imbalance can be a cause of amenorrhea when there is too much of prolactin or probably there is too much of men hormone i said it earlier and it can also be as a result of structural problem problems there are some structures i mean organs in the body that might be having issue and as well it might cause um amenorrhea so some people they are born with um, um damaged or on some reproductive organ that's might not be be in the right position or be in the right size or be in the right structure so such people might be having issue with their menstrual monthly flow then what are the signs and symptoms of what of um, amenorrhea one they can have a nipple discharge someone that has uh, you know i once talked about breast discharge you are not breastfeeding and you are having breast discharge it may be a 
symptoms of amenorrhea. Someone that has a um, breast discharge might be having issue with her hormones. Probably her hormones might not be a, a balance. We have hair loss. You might just experience that your hair is breaking down or it's, you know, you are losing them. You are losing a lot of hairs than the usual way you are meant to lose them. Definitely, you might be suffering from amenorrhea. Then headaches. Headaches. It might be a sign, a symptoms of amenorrhea. Another one is excessive facial hair. 